Ang lesson natin para sa video ito ay tungkol sa addition of fractions. Review muna tayo about fraction. Ang fraction ay part of a whole o parte ng kabuuan. Example, 2 over 3. Yung number na nasa itaas ay tinatawag na numerator at yung number na nasa ibaba ay tinatawag na denominator. Ito ang representasyon ng 2 over 3. Yung numerator, ito yung parte na may kulay sa larawan. At yung denominator ay yung bilang ng hati sa larawan. Ang fraction ay hindi hihigit sa isang buo. So, ito ay proper fraction. So, tandaan natin na ang fraction ay parte ng kabuuan. Mayroon tayong three types of fraction. Proper fraction, improper fraction, mixed fraction, or mixed number. Proper fraction, ang numerator ay mas maliit ang value kaysa sa denominator. Ang improper fraction, ang numerator ay mas malaki ang value kaysa sa denominator. Ang mixed fraction or mixed number naman ay binubuo ng whole number at proper fraction. So, let's have similar fractions. Ano ba yung similar fractions? So, ito yung mga fractions na mayroong parehas or same ang denominator o yung number na nasa ibaba. So, in adding fractions, first step natin ay dapat parehas ang kanilang denominator. So, dahil similar fractions ang ating mga given, pwede na tayong mag-proceed sa next step. So, ang next step natin ay add the numerators o yung mga number na nasa itaas. So, 1 plus 2 equals 3. And then, copy the denominator, which is 5. So, this is the final answer. Next, 5 over 9 plus 1 over 9. So, same ang denominator nila. Proceed tayo sa next step. 5 plus 1 equals 6. Copy the denominator. So, yung next step natin is to simplify or reduce it to lowest term. So, yung 6 over 9 ay pwede natin i-divide sa 3 over 3. So, kung ano ang ginawa natin sa itaas or sa numerator, ganun din ang gagawin natin sa denominator. So, 6 divided by 3 is 2 9 divided by 3 is 3 so the answer is 2 over 3 so si 6 over 9 and si 2 over 3 ay equivalent fraction so ang ginawa lang natin ay pinaliit so next is 1 fourth plus 1 fourth so the same denominator sila 1 plus 1 is 2 and then copy the denominator. And then, simplify or reduce it to lowest term. Pwede natin sila i-divide by 2 over 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, 1 over 2 or 1 half is the final answer. 2 over 4 is same as 1 over 2. 6 over 9 is same as 2 over 3. So, next example natin, mixed number. So, pareha sila ng denominator. Proceed tayo sa next step. 2 plus 3 equals 5, copy the denominator. And then, we're going to add the whole numbers. 1 plus 2 is 3. So, 3 and 5 over 7 is the final answer. Next example is 2 and 1 over 3 plus 1 and 2 over 3. So, we have here similar fractions. So, we add na natin ang numerators. 1 plus 2 is 3. Copy the denominator, 2 plus 1 is 3. So, 3 over 3 is equal to 1. So, let's show it. So, natutlong hati, tatlo yung may kulay. So, isang buo siya. So, 3 over 3 is equal to 1. So, yung 1 na to, i-add natin sa whole number 3. 
So, magiging 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So, 2 and 1 over 3 plus 1 and 2 over 3 is equal to 4. So, let's have here dissimilar fractions. So, ano ba yung dissimilar fractions? Ito yung mga fractions na may different or magkaiba ang denominator. So, unang step dapat, yung denominator nila ay parehas. So, anong gagawin natin? Magahanap tayo ng LCD. So, ano nga ba ibig sabihin ng LCD? So, LCD means least common denominator. So, ano ba yung least common denominator? So, this common denominator, it is sabihin pag least, mababa. And then, pag sinamin natin yung common denominator, kung ano yung pareha silang meron. So, ang denominator natin ay 3 and 6. So, ang gagawin natin ay listing method. Multiples of 3 and multiples of 6. So, 3, 6, 9, 12. So, ano sa 4? 6, 12, 18, 24. So, sa paglilis na natin, meron tayong parehas na 6 at parehas na 12. So, kailangan natin yung list. Yung pinaka mababa. So, ang gagamitin natin ay 6. So, meron na tayong LCD na 6. So, para makuha natin, yung numerator na naman dito, divide times. So, kinukuha natin dito yung equivalent fractions. So, 6 divided by 6 is 1 times 1 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 1 is 2. So, 1 third ay pareha sa 2 over 6. So, sila ay equivalent fractions. So, meron na tayong similar fractions. So, pwede na natin sila i-add. So, tandaan ha. Ang 1 third ay pareha sa 2 over 6. So, similar fractions sa sila, add na natin ang numerators. So, 3 over 6. So, pwede rin sila i-divide by 3 over 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So, the final answer is 1 over 2 or 1 half. Next example is 2 over 3 plus 1 over 5. So, sila ay dissimilar fractions. So, kailangan natin hanapin yung L, C, D. So, ang LCD ng 3 at 5 is 15. So, kung nahihirapan kayo, pwede kayo mag-listing method ng multiples of 3 and multiples of 5. So, divide times na tayo. 15 divided by 5 is 3 times 1 is 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5 times 2 is 10. So, meron na tayong similar fractions. So, 2 over 3 ay pareha sa 10 over 15. 1 over 5 pareha sa 3 over 15. Sila ay equivalent fractions. 2 times 5 equals 10. 3 times 5 equals 15. 1 times 3 is 3. 5 times 3 equals 15. So, sila ay similar fractions. Pwede na tayong mag-proceed sa next step. 10 plus 3 is 13. 13 copy the denominator. So, this is the final answer. Next example natin is 2 and 3 over 8 plus 1 and 2 over 3. So, they are the similar fractions. So, kailangan natin ng LCD ng 8 at 3. So, the LCD for the least common denominator is equal to 24. So, kung nahihirapin kayo, pwede tayo mag-lista ng multiples of 8 at multiples of 3. So, just record nyo muna yung whole number na nasa gilid. So, pwede nyo nangisulat dito sa 
unit. So divide times divide times 24 divided by 3 is 8 times 2 is 16. 24 divided by 8 is 3 times 3 is 9. So meron na tayo similar functions. So yung 2 at 1 na kong numbers, huwag naman na silang gagalawin. So similar fractions na tayo, meron na tayong equivalent fractions. So pwede na tayo mag-proceed sa next step. 9 plus 16 is equal to 25. Copy that, denominator. And then 2 plus 1 is 3. So, mapapansin natin na ang 25 over 24 ay isang improper fraction. So, kailangan natin siya i-change into mixed number or mixed fraction. So, to change it, 25 divided by 24. So, 25 divided by 24 is 1. 1 times 24 is 24. 24 minus 24 is 1. Kung 1 na nasa remainder, magiging numerator, and then yung 24 na divisor, magiging denominator. 25 over 24 is equal to 1 and 1 over 24. And then, anong gagawin natin sa 3? Ipa-plus natin siya dun sa whole number 1. So, magiging 1 plus 3 and 1 over 24. So, 1 plus 3 is 4 and 1 over 24. This is the final answer. So again, yung 25 over 24 ay improper fraction. Gagawin natin siyang mixed fraction or mixed number. So, i-divide lang natin siya. So, 25 divided by 24 is 1. Remainder, 1. The mean divisor magiging denominator. Tapos yung dalawang whole number, ipag-plus natin. So, 1 plus 3 is... Four. Then copy the fraction number one. Our last example is one and four over seven plus two and two over five. So the similar fraction sila kailangan natin maging similar fraction. So kailangan natin ng LCD. So what is the LCD of seven and five? So thirty-five. Kung nahihirapan kayo, pwede kayo maglista. So ilista natin yung multiples of seven. And then multiples of 5. Kapag nakita nyo lang yung parehas, tap na kayo sa pag-lista. So, LCD natin is 35. Then, divide times. So, let's record muna natin yung whole numbers. Mamaya natin siya galawin. 35 divided by 5 is 7 times 2 is 14. 35 divided by 7 is 5 times 4 is 20. So, pwede matilagay na yung whole numbers. So, similar fractions na sila. So, same lang ang 1 and 4 over 7 sa so 1 and 20 over 35. Then, ganun din sa sa ibaba. So, similar functions sa sila, pwede na natin i-add ang numerators. So, 20 plus 14 is 34. Copy the denominator. 1 plus 2 is 3. So, this is the final answer.
magbibigay ako ng 20 pesos loan kung ikaw ay nakalike sa video na to, subscribe, at perfect score ang makukuha sa ating quiz. So, 20 pesos loan mo na hanggat wala pa tayong sponsor. 9 to 13 years old only. So, ipapasa nyo sa akin ng inyong solution and answer kasama ang inyong pangalan, contact number, sa aking Facebook account. Maraming salamat. Hanggang sa mali. Paalam!